this is something you see in Hollywood, uh, right. some type of uh, fiction. But this is the underbelly of the NBA. Now we're seeing it publicly on social media. I mean, have you heard a story like this before? Can you relate to this story where the back channels, where teams are negotiating with other teams and other players when they're not supposed to? You're hitting right in my heart here, Kevin. <laughs> I got a story for you straight from experience. In Phoenix in 2009, we had a deal to send Amari Stoudemire to the Golden State Warriors in exchange for a package that included their pick, provided our guy was still on the board. Draft day starts, names start coming off the board, our guy falls, they take our guy, we're excited, we're cheering in the war room, the media people downstairs say they heard us cheer when the pick went up, we're thinking everything's set, and then they told us we have no deal. Who was the guy? Uh, his name is Wardell Stephen Curry II. <laughs> you might know him as the MVP of the league. But it, it was to the point where the next day the Arizona Republic published a full page, I still have it in my garage, a full page picture of Steph Curry and it says, a new era begins. We thought we had it signed, sealed, delivered. We were so excited. Steph Curry was a guy that we codenamed Black Nash when we were scouting him very early at Davidson. We thought he was gonna be a great point guard and the next generation after Steve Nash retired. And so what happened with the interaction between the front offices after that, after you realized that Golden State is backing out of a potential deal? Well, our, our, our front office, got, our leadership got on the phone with them and said, all right, that's great. And they're like, well, not so fast. And so the conversations continued through the night. And as the night wore on, we began to realize that there would be no Steph Curry in a son's uniform. I still remember the dinner we had after the draft. We were still happy about our draft day, but the, the feeling of what if. Was, was really weighing heavy. And so to see Golden State be so successful with Steve Kerr, the guy who thought he had the deal done, you know, it, it's so a weird feeling. After that, are the Suns interacting with the Warriors at all down the road with any front office deals after, you know, having an agreement and them backing out? I mean, what, what happens afterwards? Well, you know, uh, a year later, obviously, we went to the conference finals, and then Steve Kerr, David Griffin, our leaders, left. Griff went to Cleveland, Steve went to broadcasting, and so you get a whole new regime, and they don't have that kind of institutional pain, I guess, of having been <laughs> yeah. uh, pulled out on the last second. Because it changes so much, and then, coincidentally, Steve Kerr then goes to the Warriors and then wins a title with Steph Curry. Right.